right? Jesus is the king of kings. Have you ever taken time to think who are those other kings that he is king over? Greetings, greetings, it's Joseph Dakama here. Welcome once again to the Life in Abundance broadcast. I'm so excited that you have made it to this broadcast. Now, if you haven't as yet subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Also click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our broadcasts. We are beginning yet another series of broadcasts entitled Kingdom Identity. Kingdom identity. You don't want to miss any of the upcoming uh, broadcasts. They will surely be a great, great blessing and an enlightenment to you. Shall we just pray as we begin today's broadcast? Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, our Lord and our God, for yet another opportunity of feeding and dining from your word. Thank you for encouraging us, for inspiring us to stand in whom you want us to be. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, welcome to the broadcast. We are talking about kingdom identity. Kingdom identity. Now, to begin with, why is it important for us to know our identity? Why is it important for you to know who you are, your identity, and to be convinced of that identity? Why is that crucial? Now, knowing your identity is crucial because it helps you and I to understand our purpose. Yes, when you know who you are, you know the values you carry, you know the purpose to which you live, and that helps you in the direction that you take in life. With no identity, we are tempted to go any direction. We are tempted to do anything, anyhow, anywhere. But with identity, we know we have a sense of purpose. We have a sense of direction. This is the reason why it is important for you to know your identity and me to know my identity. Secondly, it is important to know your identity because it gives you and I uh, a sense of resilience. You know, we all know that life has its challenges. Life has its ups and downs. But when we know our identity, when we know our purpose, when you know what you are supposed to be doing and who you are, you have that resilience. You can stand against any force, anything that comes against you. Why? Because you know your identity. Thirdly, knowing your identity is crucial because it helps you and I to be authentic. Oh, yes. It helps you and I to be authentic. In this generation, in this time and age, there is a lot of identity thefts. You know why people steal identity? Because they know that once they have stolen somebody's identity, they can trade, they can get privileges uh, by masquerading as that person. Because once people know who you are, there is a genuineness that comes with it. And therefore, relationships are built and authenticated. It is important for you to know who you are because it gives authenticity to the relationships that you are in, the relationships that you are around you, your, your family, your loved ones, your workmates. You relate with them better when you know who you are. So for these three reasons, it is crucial that we study identity, especially our kingdom identity. When we talk about identity, different people see and know us differently. Why? Because we carry different identities to different people. 
To my children, I am their dad. I am their father. To my wife, I am a husband. To, to the flock, the church that I lead, I am their pastor. So I carry different uh, heads to different people. Now, it is important also that I know who am I to God when God looks at me? What identity, what title does he bless on me is very, very important. This is the reason why we will be studying in this series of broadcasts, Kingdom Identity. Now, let's take a reading to begin with from the book of 1 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2. Let's read from verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. From the NIV version, it reads, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Do you notice that from this scripture here, the Apostle Paul takes time to give us identity, who we are, and he used a lot of titles and descriptives, uh, descriptive words to show who we really are in the eyes of God. To begin with, he says, we are a chosen people. We are not common. We are not ordinary. We are chosen. We are peculiar. We are unique. And secondly, he says we are a royal priesthood. Now, there are two titles there. We are royalty and we are a priesthood. And thirdly, he says we are a holy nation. We are God's special possession. All these are titles that identify who we are. We are God's chosen people. We are royalty. We are a priesthood. And we are God's holy nation. Let's read another scripture that also uh, identify who we are. From the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Uh, let me take it this time from the King James Version. Revelations chapter 5, chapter 1, Revelations chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. From the King James Version, it reads, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto our God and his father to be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Do you notice here that first he says Jesus, the prince of the kings on the earth. He has redeemed us and washed us by his blood so that he may make us kings and priests unto our God. So we see also here two titles that are in line with the other titles mentioned in, in the book of First Peter. Peter said we are royalty and we are a priesthood. Now, Apostle John in the book of Revelation says we are kings and priests unto our God. So we are going to measure on our identity as kings. We are going to be talking about our identity as kings. You have to put this in your heart of hearts, that you are a king. You see, many times we say Jesus is the king of kings, right? Jesus is the king of kings. Have you ever taken time to think, who are those other kings that he is king over. You and I, we are those kings. You are a king. I am a king. We are royalty. Apostle Peter says we are a royal priesthood. And Apostle John says we are kings and priests unto our God. 
Oh, it's going to be exciting here. We are going to be talking about your identity, my identity as a king in the kingdom. This is our kingdom identity. We are kings and priests unto our God. You are a king. I am a king. May the Lord God bless you. Let's meet again in the next broadcast as we go deeper and exhausting this subject of you as a king, your identity and my identity as kings in the kingdom of God. God bless you.